I'm here on the corner of Grand and Palmetto, and a very famous musician grew up right here. A musician that you never knew about. He went to Langston School, and he went on to produce million-selling records, write million-selling records, and be a musician's musician's producer to produce some of the greatest hits. He grew up right here in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Let's check out the documentary we did about Henry Glover. You keep on haunting me. Let's see it. When you think about the towns that had a major influence in the formation of American modern music, you might think of Memphis, Chicago, Biloxi, Mississippi, but you might not think about this small abandoned lot on the corner of Grand and Palmetto in the small town of Hot Springs, Arkansas. For this is where a young man grew up, mastered the trumpet, and formed his musical genius that went on to affect all styles of music from the 40s through the 90s. His father was a bathhouse attendant at the Quapaw Bathhouse. His grandmother ran a boarding house in town. A graduate from Langston School and Alabama's A&M College, he went on to be co-owner of King Records in Cincinnati and New York City. As producer, writer, and talent scout, he could handle every style of music from blues, country, pop, R&B, jazz, and rock and roll, which he did with utmost style. This man may be the most influential man in music of his era, and most people have never heard of him. His name is Henry Bernard Glover. Born in 1921, Henry was a musician's musician. He started by arranging for big bands after college. He went on to be the arranger everyone wanted at their recording sessions. Mr. Glover produced stars like Grandpa Jones and Delmore Brothers, James Brown and Hank Ballard, Joey D and the Starlighters, Diana Washington, Sarah Vaughn and Muddy Waters. He would go on to write or co-write many of their songs. Glover collaborated with fellow Arkansas native LaVarne Hams of the band fame and produced records until the 80s with Muddy Waters. He was the producer of the original hit, Fever, that is a classic song and play to this day. When you kiss me, fever, when you hold me tight. Fever in the morning and fever all through the night. His early rock hits include Teardrops on Your Letter. But the teardrops on your The peppermint twist. and California Sun. California Sun has been remade by many bands through the years, heard on commercials, TV, and movies. Henry had another side. As a family man, his daughter remembered when he came off touring spent a really good amount of time with him and just doing various children's things, going to the park, going to the movie, eating out, and I really formed a bond with him. And when he was not in Cincinnati, he would call frequently. I still remember playing outside, and my grandmother would come to the back door of the porch, and she would call out. Your daddy from New York is on the phone. And I thought everybody had 
two daddies, one who lived in the house and one who lived in New York. <laughs> so I would stop playing, going, how are you doing, doing fine, I miss you, I'm going to come, I'll be there. And that's really my early life with Henry. Glover was one of the first black men in the United States to hold an executive position at a record company. His work at King Records was part of what made the company's interplay between black and white music possible. He wrote black-influenced boogie and blues music with white artists like Moon Mullican and the Delmore Brothers. He produced black R&B singers Bull Muse Jackson and Winnie Harris singing covers of popular country songs. Although the song Rocket 88 is credited with being the first rock and roll song, Good Rockin' Tonight by Henry Glover predates this by a few years and has the elements that brought R&B and jazz to a more rock and roll feel before anyone else did. An R&B num was either cut by a country artist, and a country hit could become an R&B song, and vice versa. An example of this would be finger popping time. Here's the R&B version. And here's the country version. Appealing to both audiences allowed twice the number of record sales. The next time you hear one of these songs, think of the bands he influenced, the people he affected, and the man behind the magic. Hot Springs producer songwriter Henry Glover wasn't just behind the scenes, he was inventing the scenes. Glover passed away April the 7th, 1991 in Queens, New York. He was 69 years old, but his music lives on through the works and the sounds of others. Mm -hmm.